Hey yogis, I'm Miss Heather Benham and Hi, I'm Penelope and I'm my mom's assistant, so I'll be helping you with a lot of bunch of poses. Even if I don't know them all, I'm still here. So have a great time and have some fun. In today's virtual yoga class, we will warm up by doing the yoga slide. We will learn a new mindfulness tool called Sharp Fin. We're going to extend our mantra meditation to 25 seconds today. We're going to put our breath to movement with some new yoga poses, and then we'll let our bodies absorb all that we learned through a guided meditation relaxation at the end of class. So if you are ready to get started, stand up at the top of your mat. That means the front of your mat. And before we do the yoga slide, there are a few poses that you need to know. So we're standing in mountain right now. We're strong mountains, grounding down through our feet. Are mountains still and tall, or are they wiggly? Let me get all my wiggles. They're still. So come to mountain pose. And then the next pose we'll go to is ragdoll. So you're just going to bend forward at your hips. And let your hands drape on the floor or near the floor, wherever they land. Coming up, we will then sit in our invisible chair. So press your big toes together. Press your big toes together. And we're going to bend our knees with our arms raised and sit back in our chair. Now come up and we will go to Warrior One next. So our right leg will come forward. Our left leg comes back. Once you have your balance, you're going to straighten your back leg. Make sure that your knee is right over your ankle. You and then bring your hands up. Show me your warrior pose, please. And then we will switch sides because in yoga, whatever we do on one side, we do on the other. Next, we come to dancer's pose. For dancer's pose, we will balance on our left foot to begin with. And we'll bring up our right foot. Maybe we're balancing right here, an easy dancer. Maybe you are great at balancing and you're a little more flexible so you can start to kick your foot out higher and higher. Wherever you are, know that it's okay. Oh, coming back to mountain. Is there anything I can talk about here? We're going to come to tree pose. Show me your tree. Trees are strong. They have roots that go down, so pretend you have roots going down through your feet. Maybe you can bring your foot all the way up. If not, that's okay. Start with your toes on the ground. Or bring your foot a little higher. Wherever you are, you can have your hands in Namaste. You can have your hands out wide to pretend you have branches. You can have your hands on hips, wherever you want them. your focus button. Thank you. And finally we have eagle pose. So for eagle pose we will cross our right leg over our left. Maybe you can wrap it all the way around and balance on one foot. Maybe your toes touching the mat. Since our right leg is on top, our right arm is going to come underneath. So we can wrap up our arms into eagle arms. Or you can just give yourself a hug. Huggy. Let's get started with the yoga slide. Remember, yoga is a practice, so there's no wrong way to do it. Just do your very best and follow along with us. We're going to come to Namaste. This one for you. And we'll slide back and forth. Here's what you do. Put your hands in Namaste. Let your body start to sway. Step to the left, then to the right. The yoga slides out of sight. Hands up, hands up. Come on. We're going to be yogis. We're going to be yogis. Jump up really high and then touch the sky. Jump, jump. Keep jumping, jumping, jumping. 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 Now you touch your toes. This is ragdoll pose. Breathe in and out through your nose. And then come into mountain pose. Claps, 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 jumping jacks. Claps, 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 jumping jacks. It's the yoga slide. Move side to side. It's the yoga slide. Make it wide. It's the yoga slide. 
soft breathing, and we'll close our eyes. So with your eyes closed, we're going to bring our hands up to our forehead. Your thumb is touching your forehead. No, okay, show us what you're in. We're going to take a deep breath in. Close your eyes, and as you breathe out, you'll say shh and draw your hand on your body. Let's practice a few times together. Bring your hand up to your forehead. Breathe in. We're practicing our five S's. We're sitting up tall. We're sitting still. We're sitting silently. We're breathing softly and our eyes are closed. Shark fins up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now show me your yoga hands. This is called Dhyana Mudra. You can put on your yoga glasses. You could flip your hands upside down and do silly yoga classes. You can bring your hands to your knees for our meditation. So I have a timer set for 25 seconds. And we're going to eventually work up to three minutes by May. But for now, we're going to keep it short. And remember, all of our minds wonder. No one can do meditation perfectly. So when you start to have different thoughts come in, come back to our mantra. Mindfulness is my superpower. Just say that in your head over and over and it'll help you calm yourself and it'll help you focus on that one thing. And the more you practice, the easier it will get. Mindfulness is my superpower. Let's breathe in, let it out. Breathe in, got your yoga hands ready. Close your eyes if it feels comfortable. I'm gonna start the timer. Let's say that for 25 seconds. You can say it out loud or you can say it in your mind. Can I'll start you lay down, and Can you lay down the way I say it? Mindfulness is my superpower. Mindfulness is my superpower. You did it! How did that go today? Is it getting easier? Have you been practicing? Please come up to sitting and we will review a breath that we learned last week called Batman breath. I don't so we'll come to our knees. We'll put our bat wings up. We'll drop them down toward our ribs. And as we sit back on our heels, what was that? As we inhale, we're going to lift and let our wings out. And as we exhale, we'll come down. Inhale, wings out. Exhale, come down. So that's our Batman or our Batgirl breath. Today we have a new superhero to add. We can call on the Incredible Hulk. So we're gonna to come to our mats with our feet spread wide. And this is a breath you can do if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling angry and you need to help your body relax and cool down. So we're gonna bring our arms up when we breathe in. Show me your Hulk fist. And as we exhale, we're gonna Hulk smash the ground. So we'll bend our knees and go. <sighs> breathe in, bring your arms back up, straight legs. Breathe out, Hulk smash. <sighs> Breathe in. Hulk smash. One more time. Breathe in. Hulk smash. Excellent job. Are we feeling good? Are we feeling relaxed? I am. Let's put some breathing to movement by coming back to our tree pose. We will practice tree. So remember, we're rooting down through our legs, the standing leg. We're pulling all the energy from our roots up, 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 and balancing. And maybe you grow your branch. I'm gonna hold you down because I'm so powerful. I need you to focus. If you're having a hard time balancing, focus on one thing in front of you that's not moving. 
Maybe if you are talking, it's going to be harder to focus. Or if you're looking all around the room, it's going to be harder to focus. So focus on one thing. Try to balance and see if that's easier for you. Maybe your hands are down. Maybe you lift your hands up. If you are a superhero, superstar at balancing, maybe you even try to look up between your hands for an extra challenge. And if you fall, it's okay. Just get back up and try again. Good, come to mountain. <laughs> and now we're going to lift our knees toward our chest with that same leg still down. So whatever leg you lifted for tree pose, lift it up. And we're going to bring in our strong legs. And as we exhale, we're going to bring our leg behind us. In our warm-up, we did warrior one. Right now, we're going to do warrior two. So same stance, we're going to have our front knee bent. Our back leg is straight. This time, we're going to bring our arms out to either side. And we will look down our fingertips. Good. Now, straighten your front leg. We're going to breathe in, grow really, really tall, breathe out, and come forward to triangle. Would it be helpful if you got on that? Triangle pose. So your hand's either going to come to your chin, it's going to come to your ankle, or it's going to come to the floor. You can have your fingertips touching, or your hand, wherever is most comfortable. We'll lift your other arm up. Maybe you look at those fingers that are raised. Maybe you're looking down at your toes. Good, now the arm that's raised, I'd like you to bring it down to the mat. And then you're going to step your front leg back, downward dog. So go ahead and walk out your dog. Shake your puppy tail if you need to. Stretch your legs. And then tiptoe, tiptoe, back up to mountain. Let's do that again on the other side. So switch sides. Now we're doing tree on the left, or whichever side you started on, do the opposite. And we're focused. We're looking at one spot right in front of us. Maybe your arms are up. Nice. Maybe you're looking up. Take one more breath, let it out, come back to mountain. Now lift that left knee up towards your chest. <laughs> breathe in, and as you breathe out, start you bringing your leg behind you. Did you see that too? Excellent job. And we're going to come to warrior two on the other side. So, arms up, front knees bent, back leg is straight and strong. Looking down your fingertips. Say hi, fingers. Come up and straighten your front leg. We're going to grow tall. And reach, reach, reach forward. Just get up and try again. Reach, reach, reach forward. Drop your hand. Come to triangle pose. And I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. This is called triangle because you're making a triangle with your body. Reaching forward. Dropping your hand. Other hand comes up. Either you're looking at this hand or you're looking down at your feet. Can you please stand up and try with me? You're doing so well. And now we're going to bring both hands down to your mat. Bring the front foot back and come to downward dog. So here you're pressing your heels down toward the ground and you're sending your bottom up toward the sky to make an upside down V with your body. Good. Come up on your toes, tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe to your hands, and come back to standing. Great job, friends. Oh, from standing, sit back down. Staff pose. Up, down, up, down. Here you're going to have your feet out in front of you. Your back is going to be so tall. Your back is so tall. Sit up in staff pose. Your hands come down by your hips. Breathe in, and as we breathe out, we're going to fold forward. So maybe you're here, and that's okay. Maybe you can touch your toes. 
maybe you can touch your nose to your legs. It doesn't matter how far you can go, you want your back to stay nice and straight. So whenever you feel your back curving, stop. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back up to your staff pose. This time we're going to bring our feet down to the mat, point our toes forward, bring your hands to the mat behind you with your fingers pointed towards your feet, and we're going to create a slide with our bodies in a reverse plank. So we're going to have strong bellies and strong arms and lift our hips toward the ceiling. So breathe in, lift up. Don't forget to breathe while you're here. Nice straight line all the way down. Good, lower your hips. Shake out your arms. Let's do it again. Bring your hands behind your back. Fingers pointed toward your toes. Feet flat on the mat. And when you inhale, lift your hips. How high can you lift them? And breathe. Breathe and lower your hips. Let's do it one more time. Shake out your wrists. Get ready. Hands come behind you. Breathe in. Slide. Breathe. And lower down. Good job, friends. From here, we're going to come to bridge. Penelope, will you please trade mats with me? I'm going to trade with her so that you can see what I'm doing from the side. So with bridge, you're going to bring your feet close to your bottom. Can you show us bridge from the front, please? And we're going to lie back on the mat. Our shoulders are on the ground, and our hands are by our feet. And as we breathe in, we're going to do just like we did with that reverse plank, and lift our hips up toward the ceiling. Press your feet into the floor, press your hips up. On your exhale, come down to the mat. Let's do it a second time. Breathe in, lift your hips up. Maybe you can grab your hands underneath. Maybe not, that's okay. And lower your body to the mat. Some of my yogi friends have wheel in their practice, so I'm going to show you how to do wheel safely. You don't ever want to be on your head or your neck. So if you can, you're going to bring your hands up, over, and around. And for wheel, you will lift your hips and head and shoulders off of the mat. Come up to hold. And breathe. And then come down just like you went up. Protect your head. Come up to sitting. I'd like you to roll forward and come to child's pose. And rest your head on the mat. Come up to sitting on your knees. And we'll come back to our backs and we'll bring our knees into our chest. And we'll rock side to side. Maybe you can rock forward and backwards. Rock and roll all the way up to standing. Up to mountain. Thank you for switching that to me. And now we're going to cool down and come to a place where our bodies can start absorbing everything that we did during this practice. So I would like you to breathe in and bring your hands up over your head. And as you exhale, bend for crescent moon. Inhale up to center. Exhale, crescent moon on the other side. Inhale up to center. Baby back bend. 
Come to sitting on your mat with the bottoms of your feet, the soles of your feet pressed together. Butterfly pose, flap your wings. Sit up tall. Breathe in. And as you exhale, fold over your feet. Maybe you're here. Maybe you can go a little further. Remember, this is your practice, and wherever you are today is perfect. Take three deep breaths in. And then come back up to butterfly pose. From here, keep the bottoms of your feet together and come lying on your mat, on your back. And reclined butterfly. Grab the outside of your legs and close your knees together like a book so that your feet are on the mat and your knees are pointed up toward the ceiling. And here we'll windshield wiper one way and twist our bodies the other way. And we'll come back up to center and we'll twist the other way. And we'll come back up. Bring your knees to your chest, give them a big squeeze. Bring your feet straight up, waterfall pose. Pretend you're pushing the ceiling away with your feet. So you want your toes pointed towards your nose. Feet pressing up as high as they will go. And hold and breathe. And now I'd like you to bring your legs down to the mat. And we're going to do something different and a little silly. I want you to, if you're on a mat or a blanket, to roll yourself up in it in the middle of your body. And come lying either on your stomach or your back in it. Kid, roll up. Okay, excuse me. You can make this roll. <laughs> Once you're there, I want you to start preparing your mind and your body to relax. When we are rolled up and we are feeling tight and snug and secure, it helps our minds to calm down and it helps our bodies to calm down. So I'd like you to relax your toes, relax your ankles, relax your legs, Relax your belly. Relax your arms. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face, your head, your jaw, your neck. Relax your chest. Come to a place where you are still and where you are feeling calm. Maybe Close your eyes. We're going to do a call and response for our rest right now. But first, take a deep breath in, fill up your belly with air, let it out slowly. I'm going to say a sentence and I'd like you to repeat it back to yourself, or you can say it in your mind. May I be safe and loved. May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. May I know all is well. Let's do that one more time. May I be safe and loved. May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. May I know that all is well. Take a moment to breathe and relax.
Now I'd like you to slowly unroll yourselves from your kid roll up and come sitting in easy pose. Let's end our class with one more sharp fin. Bring your sharp fins up, touch your thumb to your head, breathe in. Breathe out, close your eyes. And bring your hands to your knees. Bring your hands up to Namaste. This concludes our yoga practice. May all beings everywhere benefit from our time together. May the world be filled with love, laughter, and lots of peaceful children. Namaste. All of the good things in me sees all of the good things in you. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your practice with us today. We will see you next time.